Okay, I am going to make a super bright arc light. And we're gonna use really this battery, this battery, and then that's that's basically it. <laughs> Just now you you we're gonna make a mess. Um so I have my gloves on. Uh you're gonna need some safety glasses. These actually are safety for two reasons. One for when I'm cutting that open, and two, these are UV glasses and they will protect me from the uh this is gonna be bright. Okay. So you might want to get some uh some kind that also have some type of sun sun uh, block on them. Uh, I have a pencil sharpener, I have my MacGyver uh, Swiss Army knife. You could use a lot of things to get this open, but um, and these blocks of wood are just to hold it. And then I got some wires. I put some plastic down here because I don't want to make a mess. Uh, so let's move that out of the way. And the number one thing what we're going to do is to get a carbon rod out of this. This is an old battery, so I don't mind destroying it. And let's just get to it, and I can keep talking. And I don't know how well this is going to work. Okay, and this may not even have carbon rods in it, but. And you should never really cut open batteries unless you know what you're doing because, uh, you know, they have acid stuff in there. That's bad. And they don't make it so you can take these things apart because they don't want you to get in them. But I want in. Okay, I'm going to get a screwdriver. And I'm going to see if I can pry this top off. Yeah, there we go. I don't want to get my knife dirty because that's that's MacGyver, right? And I, I think I'd like to do this without stopping, but. Check that out. Okay. I want so this is a uh, six volt battery, so it has four 1.5 cells in there. I'm just gonna cut this. Be careful because if it's if it's still charged, you can create some shorts in here. And you don't want to do that. Okay, the, the bottom is also soldered. I think I can just pull it though. Let's see if I can cut this wire. There, I got that one. Let's cut this one. Can you guys see okay? Because that one didn't come out either. See that? Oh, there it is. That's connected right there. I can cut that. There we go. I got two. I need two of those. You can save the other two for your friends. Um, let's pull this off. So, now I just need to get the carbon rod out of there. I think if I grab this, that's it. Let's see if I can just pull without cracking it. I'm going to twist it. And there we go. Got it. No? It's not coming out. Twist it. Check that out. Got a carbon rod. Yeah, I'm excited because I didn't know for sure that it would be in here. Uh, some of these don't use that. And this is nasty. I'm going to get a paper towel and wipe it off. Check it. One carbon rod. Let's get, and then when I do that, I can get rid of the plastic. They're surprisingly durable. Even though, watch me crack this one after I said that. This one seems to be harder to get out. There's like a little plastic cap right here. Careful, screwdrivers are the worst thing to cut yourself with. Of course, you probably already know that. Hmm. Now I'm cracking it.
I want to get this plastic thing off. The other one came right out. There we go. That's nasty. Okay, now I can grab that better and twist. Okay, that's the stuff you don't want. Okay, I'm going to get this stuff out. See if I can wipe off some of this stuff just because it's just nasty stuff. And this is where the plastic comes in really handy because I don't care. But this is, notice, I think there's a big difference between the two rods. I think this is why one was good and one was bad. It was a bad battery. This one's all messed up. I really don't know for sure, but... And I'm trying to go fast because I don't want to edit this video. And if I just go fast, I can just do it all in one take. Okay, I think that's going to be fine. See, the other one doesn't have that. The other one's pretty smooth. Okay, so now I want to... What we're going to do is run a current, an electric current, through the carbon rods and then have uh, an arc jump, and that's going to light. So in order to get it to jump, it, it's easier to have a point. So here's a pencil sharpener. I'm just going to stick this in there, and then I'm going to sharpen that. It's not sharpening. Hmm. I think I put it in a big pencil sharpener before. Yeah, I'm going to go take these and put them in a big pencil sharpener. Um, and then I'll come back. I said I didn't want to stop. but So that's all I'm going to do is I'm going to sharpen these two. Okay, so you can do that. I'm take off my glove to stop my phone. Okay, I am back. There's a really nice pencil sharpener in the hallway, which I used to check that out. Then look better. Now I can bring these two in close like that and I can make a, a connection. So what I'm going to do is to mount these just easily on these two blocks so then I can bring them in closer together. And so it's really just taping it down. It's not a big deal. So here's a piece of tape. I'm just gonna tape that down right there so that I can adjust the size. I'm gonna tape this one down right there. And now I don't need this paper. So here is my uh, drill battery. This is an 18 volt. I'm gonna stick uh, the wires to connect to those two things and then connect those to these. So, oh, and I, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my safety glasses uh, before I forget, because I will forget, so they're on right now. And now I have these alligator wires. So I'm gonna, all, wires with alligator clips. So I'm gonna just, connect this like that and then I'm going to do the same thing to this one actually I'm going to do that one like that and I'm going to start with them farther apart oops there we go hmm. I don't like that let's to clip it right there that'll work Okay, then I can bring this one in. So now I'm going to stick this. You got to be careful. There is a, a middle prong here. That one you don't want to. I just want to connect it to this prong and to that prong. And you can use any sorts of power sources. Uh, you do need a lot of current. So I'm just going to jam this in there. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Now I'm going to jam this one in right here. Now I'm going to bring them closer together.
and nothing happened. Check that out. What the heck? Let's see. Oh, I see what the problem is. Is that the problem? That's in there. Okay, let's try it again. Hmm. This worked before. There we go. Check it out. Oh, you don't want it to burn. You want it to arc. There you go. Arc lamp. Arc lamp. Now, and so you want to adjust the distance once you get it started. And it's just super bright. So you got to kind of play with the distance. If you if you just touch it, it'll burn. But you can see the the idea. Let me let me turn off the lights and see what happens then. Although we don't really need the lights off, do we? Okay, lights are off. One more time. I can't see where they are. Arc lamps. There you go. Cool, huh? I think that's cool. Okay, be safe.